Peace, family. So, uh, welcome to another episode of you know, Real Estate with Eli. This brand new series that I'm doing. So, right now, I'm actually showing a property. Well, I'm getting ready to show a property, but I want to give you guys uh, an explanation on how I got into real estate at 20. Well, I originally got into real estate when I was 18. Um, when I was in high school, I had uh, took the, my mom signed me up for real estate school. Um, over the summer in my 11th grade year because I really wasn't doing nothing at the house. So, you know, I wasn't doing nothing at the house, you know. Signed up for real estate school, took that, got that done. And that turned into what uh, I am now. So, you know, real estate school was pretty much hard. It, it wasn't hard. It was pretty much easy. It was just studying for that state exam. So, my issue with the taking real estate school was the fact that when I took it, I was still in high school. So, amongst me being in high school, I had to literally wait a whole year before I could take the state exam because I didn't have my high school diploma. And in Florida, in order for you to take the state exam, you had to at least be have a, a high school diploma. So, I was like, wow, bummer. So, I had to wait a whole year. Um, ended up waiting that whole year and took the test I, I failed the test like four times um and then on that fourth time i finally passed it you know staying consistent but failing the florida real estate exam was one of the more stressful things in my life like i was ready to give up <laughs> like walking up that test room like with your head down too it was very 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 stressful very stressful and, like it was weighing on me um, but eventually I passed and then that's how I got to where I am today. Now starting out in real estate, um, I was with Better Homes and Garden, but, um, at Better Homes, the environment, it was a great environment, but I wasn't getting really, I really wasn't getting any help or any mentorship. It was just like, you know, uh, I, and I feel like when you go to real estate school, they don't teach you how to be a real estate agent. They just teach you the laws of things that you need to know about real estate. But when it comes to actually being a real estate agent, you have to learn that stuff on your own. And that wasn't expressed to me because I didn't even know anybody in the real estate game. Um, but, and that's that was my problem with being at Better Homes. It's like at Better Homes, you know, nobody really taught me how to be a real estate agent. I mean, I had a couple people, they taught me how to read a contract, but they didn't teach me, you know, how to deal with clients, how to, and then I'm fresh out of high school. So it's like, well, what I do here, and then also like an a, a issue I had was that uh, a lot of my a lot of people didn't want to work with me because of my age. Um, they said I look like a kid. Even earlier this year, like people they would say like I look like a kid. But I've been closing deals, so you know I'm a million dollar producer. So you know it happens, but staying consistent. What changed my real estate business and my real estate career? Uh, this year, 2021, I don't know when you guys are going to see this video, but this year what changed my uh, real estate career was getting on a real estate team. Like, so I got on the Dimps real estate team, you know, working under Willie Dimps. He's a, uh, uh, one, one of the bigger real estate agents in the area. So with that being said, he took me under his wing, you know, basically under his mentorship. Like I ro literally rode with him every day. Rode with him every day. Uh, had to show up eight o'clock. Uh, train under him. Literally, he trained me how to be an actual real estate agent. Basically, and um, I switched over to the broker that he was at, and then that's how uh, things kind of changed for me. You know, I ended up becoming within a couple of months. I ended up becoming a million dollar producer. Um, and next year, I hope is a bigger year for me but in the midst of that uh it took it took a lot it took a lot to get to where I'm at now but the biggest thing I did was I stayed consistent and I always you know never gave up because even you know when I went didn't have any leads or anything like that uh I stayed consistent you know I'll be calling people I would pass out my cards to several different businesses in the local area but now that I'm on a real estate team, that's what really changed my whole life and whole like real estate business around because being by myself, I didn't make no money. So and then hopefully, you know, being on this team will, you know, take me to the next level and just build me up as an agent. And 
That's why I encourage anybody to do, like, especially if you're my age or younger, trying to get into real estate, I definitely recommend, you know, try to work under somebody. Um, that way you can get your feet wet in the field because my issue is that a lot of people, um, a lot of people did not want to work with me. And that was my biggest thing. That was like so depressing. It's like so many people did not want to work with me because of uh, my age. But now, you know, nobody can really say anything about my age because I'm, I'm knowledgeable in the field that I'm in. And also I've sold several different properties with proof of everything. So that's how I became a real estate agent. I hope you guys like this video. Feel free to like, subscribe, and share.